Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Brad and today I'm in my garage packing up for my trip to Calico. I'm leaving early in the morning. I'm going to spend the entire weekend up there. And as I was packing, I was like, man, you know, I get a lot of questions about all the gear I take with me, camera gear, suggestions for things folks should bring with them, suggestions for stuff that I should bring with me. So I thought that since I was pulling this all out to see what I got, to pack it up, why not take a couple minutes, go live, and show you everything I've got in my garage and what's going in there. And then you guys can give me some feedback about, you know, things you think I should take or ask some questions in the comments and I will try to answer them. But there are two things that I'm really excited to share with you today, guys, and I'm gonna do it at the very end of the video, but there's two things that I purchased recently that I'm going to uh, be taking with me this weekend. They're a big deal. If you've been following on Instagram, you've seen one of them, but stay tuned to the end of this, and I'm gonna show you. I think you're gonna be really, really excited about it. Hey, guys, what's going on? I see y'all in the comments there. Thanks for chiming in. All right, now look, um, today is Veterans Day, and I just wanna say a big thanks to all my brothers and sisters out there that are currently serving in the military or have served in the military. You know, being a corpsman for 26 years, uh, I have a massive amount of respect for anybody that puts on the uniform and serves their country. So happy Veterans Day to all my brothers and sisters out there. All right, let me flip the camera around, quit rambling, and let me show you all the gear I got here. Now I'm gonna break this down into a couple things, guys. So I'm gonna talk about my everyday carry stuff. And then I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about some of the stuff that I take with me on the weekends. And then I'm gonna show you some of the camera gear because I get questions about that all the time. And then you gotta stay tuned to the end, guys, because those two things that I'm gonna show you, you're gonna be really excited about. All right, so on this table right here is everything that I carry in my Jeep every day all the time. So this is always in my Jeep. And let me just start by mentioning these cases by Rigid. These, I love these cases. Uh, they're a nice solid polycarbonate. I don't know. I guess that's polycarbonate. I don't know what you call it. Uh, I got these at Home Depot. They are super cheap and they are solid. Uh, they're weatherproof. They're waterproof. And I, I got a lot of these. I got several of these. They're great boxes. You can stack them. They lock together. Uh, they're great. Uh, not endorsed by these guys. Uh, I just like these. And I think uh, if you're looking for some cheap storage op options, this is the way to go. So uh, ridges are cool. Okay, so what do I have here in this box? Well, I've got my KC light covers in case the California Highway Patrol decides to pull me over because I don't have my lights covered. Uh, I've got some air hose in here, single air hose, uh, and a tire gauge. Now, that's just uh, in case I need to inflate one tire or just use that for a single purpose, but if you've watched um, the video where I built this, this is my four tire inflation system. So this inflates all four tires all at once. Uh, definitely go check out that video. I love this thing. Uh, it's great. I use it all the time, but I do carry just a single one if I need it. Uh, I've got a foldable shovel that I carry with me. I've got some glow sticks, uh, zip ties. You know you got to have zip ties, guys. And I've got a little box of fuses. And uh, you know, I've never needed this, but it always seems like somebody else needs a fuse. I always hear somebody on the trail, hey, anybody got any fuses? And so I'm always thankful that, uh, that I have those. Um, I've got this little Brilla light, which is really cool. Uh, it's got a little mag magnet on the back and hangs up. It's a nice little light to have. I also have a headlamp. I've got some electrical tape and I've got some bailing wire. This is, this is a must. You gotta have some tape and bailing wire. I've got my Coyote tire deflators. I love these things. They make deflating tires so easy. Just screw them on and pull the pin. Uh, very nice. Uh, I also have an, I got another light in here. This is a Elytra light, and uh, this is also a nice little light. It's really, really bright. Uh, it's also got a magnet on the back. Uh, very cool little light. And then um, I think that's pretty much it, except for a little bungee cord. That's it all for this box. And then this box is kind of my recovery gear. So I, I mentioned that. Get that out of the way. Uh, and I always, like I said, I always carry this with me. So I've got a snatch block, and a snatch block is nice to have because it doubles your winching capacity. And admittedly, I've only used this twice ever, but I'm glad I have it. Uh, then back here is a tree strap, uh, and then I've got my regular toe strap right here, which gets plenty of use. Uh, got some Gorilla Tape, which you gotta have, and then I've got a bunch of D-rings. And I've got two different size D-rings, and to be honest with you, I rarely ever use these 7 to 8 inch D-rings. I'm always using the 3 quarter inch ones. I think I just need to get a bunch of those, but that's what I carry in that box. Uh, then I got tools. I have a full-blown toolkit in my Jeep at all times. And you can see here I've got hammers, wrenches, 
Uh, everything you would need to do some minor repair out on the trail or just out on the road or if somebody else needs some help. Uh, I'm just, I don't like leaving home without having tools, so I'm glad I had that. Uh, and then I've got some WD-40, got some steel stick in here. Uh, what else I got in here? Got some more tape. So it's always good to have a good tool kit, guys. What else? I uh, got gloves, I always carry gloves with me. I have this one pound fire extinguisher with this little bar tack. Uh, mount and this just goes on my rear roll bar um, now this is a chemical fire extinguisher and you know I'm not gonna put out a massive blaze with this thing but just having something in case there was a small electrical fire or something is really nice you know if you're worried about big fire you, this is not the one you want to have and then I've got my my medic first aid kit which I love this little first aid kit if you haven't watched the video on this go check it out uh, this is great little gear here it's just such a compact thing for and you just get so much in this first aid kit. I love uh, the MyMedic. So that's in my Jeep all the time, guys. That's every, when I go to work, uh, this is what's coming with me and just probably a little overkill. Okay, now I mentioned we're going up to Calico this weekend, so I'm taking some extra stuff with me. So what I've got here is the Kelty table and chair. And I love these things. If you look how small these are, I mean, this little table is uh, four foot by four foot and it stands pretty nice and it's really sturdy. It's a fabric table, but it stretches so tight that you wouldn't know it. And then this is uh, my little folding chair and it's really compact and it's actually pretty comfortable. So I really love having these and they do not take up a bunch of space. Not like throwing a big old table and your big old chair in the Jeep. Uh, I really like those. Uh, I've got my Coleman cook stove. And then uh, I've got my ham radios. I always take two ham radios with me. I'm going to do a hard install of a ham radio soon, and I will definitely do a video about that. And yes, for those of you who are asking, I am a licensed ham operator. Uh, I always take some good books with me when I'm going on a trail. This California Back Roads and Four Wheel Drives is one of my favorites, um, and just got a lot of detail in here. Their, their books are really solid, guys. All right, and then this is my camp box. So I've just got a bunch of odds and ends and junks in here. Um, this is an air mattress, which uh, I won't be needing much anymore, but I'll explain to that at the end of the video. Um, just some utensils, cookware, baby wipes. As you know, when you're camping, that's that's your shower is your baby wipes. Uh, I got another one of those lights in here. I just, I love these little lights. Uh, I do have a water filter. So this is the um, Katadyne water filter. So if I need to filter any water, uh, I gotta have coffee. Got some bug spray. And then uh, I always have this little kit, which I really like. And if you're a hiker, you'll know, you'll know about this pretty well. But this is, uh, can I do this one-handed? We'll see. Uh, I don't know if I'm able to get this out one-handed. Okay, so this is my little um, camp stove. And I use this if I'm just gonna make some coffee or hot water. And these are really nice. Because you just hook this up, and I always just keep everything loaded up in here, ready to go. I used to carry this in my, uh, in my hiking backpack. That's why it looks like this. So you got the little pocket rocket, and that just screws on to the top of your little propane canister right there. And then you can just heat up your hot water on top of that. And so if I'm making coffee or something, I just use this. I love it. It's a, it's a really nice compact design, and now I'm just making a mess of everything. Uh, okay, so that's pretty much it for my everyday carry stuff and what I'm taking on the camping trip. Now, let me talk a little bit about camera gear. Uh, people ask me about this all the time, so I figured now is a great time to talk about uh, all the camera gear that I'm taking with me for this weekend. And this is just a short weekend. I'm just going out tomorrow morning, coming back Sunday night. But uh, let me start off with my favorite, which is uh, the thing I use the most, which is my Canon 80D. And this thing takes amazing pictures and it does great for video. And I'm using the 18 by 135 millimeter lens. I love this thing. Uh, I can't say enough about it. Upgrading to that camera has made such a difference. Uh, obviously, you got GoPros and some suction cups, so you can mount those wherever you need to. You got to have extra batteries. And then I like having this little remote for the GoPro uh, because that way I don't have to set this outside the Jeep and turn it on and just let it run. I can actually control it from inside the Jeep while I'm driving. I really like that. Um, I've got a Rode video mic, so uh, if I'm out on the trail, I know people talk about, uh, you know, I want to hear the, the crunching of the rocks and the squealing of the tires and all that. So having a good microphone when you're out on the trail is really good. The camera microphone just isn't that good, especially if it's windy. You want this dead cat on there to clear that up. Uh, I got a little Gobi uh, pod there. Uh, got to have a tripod. Got my DJI Standard 3, and hopefully I'll get to use this drone this weekend. 
Uh, sometimes when you're in a big group, we're going to be in a very big group this weekend. I think there's about 40 of us going out there. Uh, it's tough to get everybody to slow down to use a drone, but hopefully I can throw that up in the air a couple times. And then the one I use a lot. I love this little thing. People ask me all the time, how do I get such steady video? And it's with this guy. So this is a GoPro uh, Hero 5 attached to this Karma Grip. And you can see how stable that thing is. Uh, it really makes a difference. And, and this is weatherproof. And it's, you know, so if I'm out there, it's dusty, it's muddy, it's running, uh, raining or whatever. I can run around with this. I can get up and down uh, around the Jeeps. And it's really sturdy. I like it. Uh, and it makes for some smooth photography and video. So this is really nice, guys. And this is not a very expensive setup. I mean, I think this little um, Karma Grip, I don't, know, I don't know what they sell for now, $299. Uh, and then you can pick up a GoPro and you can actually get different cases. So if you already have a GoPro, you can set up the one you have. But I, I love this little thing. Uh, it does great video, that, very smooth. Um, okay, what else I got? Then uh, this is a big deal. So this is brand new. This is... Um, a wireless lavalier, and I just got this. I have not used this yet. Uh, this is not one of the two things I was going to talk about at the end of the video. But I, I was able to get this thanks to my patrons over at Patreon. So guys, if you're watching, thank you so much because uh, because of the support you guys have had, I was able to purchase this, which is going to make such a big difference in the video. So there's two of these wireless microphones, and there's these hooked up there, and you put them on your collar or whatever. And then this part attaches to the camera. And this is gonna make the audio here in the garage or out when I'm doing rig walk-arounds or just anything, it's gonna be so much better. I'm really, really looking forward to using that. Uh, and then, oh, hey, I forgot to talk about this. This is actually everyday carry as well. This is the MicroStart XP10. Uh, and I've had this for, I don't know, four or five months. I love this little thing. You know, I've only charged a vehicle or jump-started a vehicle once with it. But what I love it for is it's got USB ports on here. So I can, um, charge my camera gear on this guy and it lasts forever. And the funny thing is, is I don't know, and I know there's a bunch of different versions of this. I've actually had a few companies reach out to me and say, hey Brad, can we send you one, do a review on it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I, I kind of turned them all down. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna find one that has good reviews and give it a test. Um, and guys, I, this is not paid. They didn't ask me to do this. They didn't send this to me for free. I purchased this. I, I like this one. So if you're looking for one, uh, I can give this one a thumbs up for sure. Okay, uh, oh, and then trash roo, almost forgot. Gotta have your trash roo so you can pack it in and pack it out. So that is, that is most of the gear. Oh, and you guys see that over there? Yeti high steer, that's going in soon too. Okay, let me talk about the two things that uh, I just purchased that I'm gonna be reviewing on. The one is right here. Now, this is a Coleman 40 liter uh, chiller is what they call it. It's not a refrigerator. It's a chiller. It works off of 12 volts. You can actually hook this up uh, to an uh, electrical wall unit, or you can hook it up with your cigarette lighter. And you can see here, I had this running, so it's 73 degrees in my garage. Gotta love San Diego, right? And then open this guy up, and it is, look at that, 37 degrees in here. Now, this is not a refrigerator, it just cools. They say it drops the temperature about 40 degrees below whatever the ambient temperature is. Now, I've been using this for the last two days, and I will say it hasn't dropped it that low. It's usually about 32 degrees below ambient, but it's still really cold in here. I mean, everything in here is really, really nice and cold. And you got a lot of room in here for all your needs. Uh, the fan is a little loud, but I will be doing a full-blown review on this after I get out on the trail and use it. So I just wanted to kind of give you a heads up about that. I'm going to be testing out that this weekend, and I'm really, really excited about it. And then the next thing, yeah, this is... This is what I'm excited about, guys. Like I said, if you've been following on Instagram, you know all about this already. That's right. I got the Smitty Built Overland Rooftop Tent. And I just installed this this morning. Uh, finally got it all buttoned up and everything. And I'm going to be using it this weekend and really looking forward to, one, not be sleeping on the ground or uh, in the back of the Jeep. But two, just to have a nice shelter, man. It's gonna be so nice. Now, uh, I wanna do a full-blown review after I use this, but I will tell you, so far, having it all set up, I love it. It's just a great design. It's very, very good quality stuff. The only one complaint I have so far, and again, I'm only 24 hours into this, is reaching under there to bolt everything down. I don't know if you can see that. 
was a nightmare. I mean, uh, it was a pain in the butt. So I don't know, taking this on and off all the time is gonna be a challenge because obviously I don't wanna leave it on 100% of the time, but you can see uh, I'm not fitting in the garage anymore. Um, but I'm excited to see uh, how this does on the trail. If I notice that weight, it's about 118 pounds and to see what my gas mileage does. Obviously that big old brick on the front is not gonna help my gas mileage, but it's gonna be so nice having that tent, guys. I'm really looking forward to it. So, there we go. I hope you found this a little bit informative. I just wanted to share with you guys the stuff that I take with me on the trail. Oh, let me miss, adjust that. Um, you know, I think there's some value in learning from other people, right? So there are some things that I take that maybe you don't take that maybe now you'll consider. And if there is something that you take on the trail that I don't have and you think I should, man, put it in the comments. I would love to hear about it. I'm always looking for new stuff and new gear, better gear. Uh, and I think it's just important that we share with each other all that information. So comment down there, guys. I would love to hear about it. All right, I gotta get this stuff packed up. Uh, I gotta take the wife out and do a couple of chores. And then tomorrow morning, bright and early, I am heading to Calico with my buddies from the San Diego Jeep Club. I cannot wait to go hit the trail tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoy your Veterans Day weekend. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a member of the Trail Recon team. And if you are, would like to support what I'm doing here, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching, guys.